was almost 60 years ago that our next invention first appeared on Popular Science. Our lives would sure be different today without it, particularly people who go on camera who might be considered vain or nearsighted. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Popular Science. Too bad she has to wear glasses, such heavy ones to distort such eyes. But Dr. Reuben Greenspoon of Beverly Hills, California, is fitting her to contact lenses. These are saucer-like shells of thinnest plastic, which by a revolutionary development in optometry can now be fitted to the eyeball with microscopic perfection. He has made of a jelly-like substance a perfect impression of her eye. This mold quickly hardens to impart a marvelously accurate form to the matrix of common dental stone which is poured into it. From this, the now finished plastic contact lens is made as near perfection as anything human can be. And what is proving a priceless boon to wearers, particularly athletes, is this unbreakable lens worn safely by ski jumpers, swimmers, divers, yes, and boxers too. But that's not all. As an adjunct to Hollywood's movie makeup art, they are proving a sensation. Now, an actor may have any kind of eyes he wants for his role. The eyes have long defeated the makeup expert, for in them, youth lives or fades or dies, and nobody has ever been able to do anything about it. Now, however, a young player can have the burnt-out eyes of a rake, half-mad, by the simple expedient of putting them in, or his role may call for aged, roomy eyes, to match a palsied body, withered face, and made-up hair. While stellar beauties now have their own choice of color, even mismatched if they like, artificial brown contrasting with natural blue, not many, we hope, will go for that. Her birthright shade is blue, but she may change to a lighter shade if her role or fancy desires it. This is a factor of growing importance as more and more movies are made in color. The eyes have it. Yes, the eyes have it. Actually, the very first contact lens were invented in the 1800s. The ones in the 1930s covered even the whites of the eyes. That was until an optician's very lovely but very myopic wife complained that her contacts were driving her crazy. The lenses were then cut down to cover only the cornea. That covers just about everything for us. Hope you enjoyed the program. Join us next time. For Invention, I'm Lucky Severson.